Hello children. Today I am going to read a story. Everything is possible. It is about helping others. In this story you will find a girl named Anjali and a friend named Pinky. They both prove that if you set your mind to anything everything is possible. So let's start the story. Anjali's parents had moved to Junagar a month ago. Her father Ashish was the commissioner of the city. Her mother Suman worked with a bank. Anjali had simply fallen in love with the lush green city. She especially enjoyed the lion safari at the Sasamgir sanctuary. which was just 2 hours drive away from Junagar Anjali was eager to join her new school it was friday and the school was to reopen on monday after the vacation she went to the living room and flopped herself on the settee her favorite haunt to read story books late in the afternoon she heard someone enter her house mother informed her that it was raguram He was the gardener who lived in the outhouse located in the mango orchard behind their home. He had brought some fresh mangoes. Anjali loved mangoes and she jumped up with joy. "Hurray!" she grabbed a mango in each hand and ran off to the garden swing to enjoy the juicy fruit. As she was swinging, she saw a timid face peep from behind the tree. She called out, "Who are you?" I am Pinky. My father works in the mango orchard. Anjali invited her to play with her on the swing and share the mango with her. Many days went by and both the girls became very good friends. One day Anjali asked, "I have never seen you go to school. Why?" Pinky looked very uncomfortable. She did not answer and simply ran away. Anjali was puzzled. The next day too, there was no sign of Pinky. Anjali missed her friend and decided to go with her mother and meet Pinky at the outhouse. As they were walking to Pinky's house, Anjali saw some men put up a new hoarding across the compound wall. It read, "Each one, teach one." Anjali read it and remembered, "Our teacher has taught us rhyming words." teach and each is a pair of rhyming words but i wonder what this sentence means suman smiled at her daughter and said it means every person can help another person to read and write it's very nice idea exclaimed anjali yes indeed it is said her mother suman and anjali reached the outhouse pinky met them and shyly said I ran away that day because I thought you would make fun of me. You see, I never went to school and do not know how to read and write. It is impossible that I can learn now. Nothing is impossible, Pinky. In fact, everything is possible if you set your mind to it," said Anjali's mother and put her arms around the child. Anjali exclaimed, "I have an idea." Why don't you come home every afternoon after I return from school? I will help you learn how to read and write. Anjali was true to her word and Pinky never missed a day. During the monsoon showers, both the girls stayed indoors and practiced reading and writing. Anjali introduced Pinky to the world of stories. There were many kinds of stories, fairy tales, mythological stories, and Aesop's fables. Every day Anjali would bring new books from the school library and read them to Pinky. She even gave Pinky all her old story books. Pinky was unstoppable. She was hard working and slowly started to read on her own. One day Suman told Anjali, "I think now the time has come that Pinky can be admitted to a school." Anjali was very excited at the idea. "Do you think she can come to my school asked anjali suman inquired and finally anjali's school was ready to admit her pinky was nervous 
but anjali held her hand firmly and walked her up to her classroom on the first day there was a slight hint of a tear in pinky's eyes when anjali finally waved her goodbye that day anjali was eagerly waiting near the school gate to know how pinky had fared on her first day at school she saw pinky rushing outside excitedly she was shouting with joy i did it i can read write and play i enjoy going to school just guess who was the happiest person it was anjali she felt as if she had cleared an exam the two girls sang in chorus everything is possible ha 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 so children yes the girls were very right everything is possible if you set your mind to it so what did you learn that we should help each other and nothing is impossible in this world if we set our mind to it okay children have a nice day